Okay, so again, I'm going to work on my brown cube here, and I'm going to set my plan over to the side here. Let's see if we can do it like that, that way you can see it. But I'm going to draw my isometric uh, pieces on this isometric paper, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out and put them in my notebook, and uh, eventually what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a, um, a final uh, drawing. It's going to consist of my isometric view in one corner, Okay, and then I'm going to have my top view, front side view, and then my right side view, just like that. So isometric, top view, front view, and right side view. But let's concentrate on the isometric view uh, pictorial at the moment. Okay, so my brown piece, um, I'm going to use what we call units on this graph paper. Uh, just like we use the squares on graph paper, we just call them units. And I'm going to use each cube is going to rep be represented by, represented by two units on the orthographic paper. Okay. In other words, the bottom portion of my brown shape here is three cubes wide, so it's actually going to be six units wide on my paper and I want some really straight lines so I'll, even though the ISO paper has lines on it I'm going to use a ruler to get one two three four five six units okay now the other side that goes up this way up here is also three units or I mean three cubes which will be six units so I'll make this 90 degree turn two four six six cubes all right so that's I'm going to use that as basically my inside um, or actually my outside sorry my outside edges uh, three cubes by three cubes and let's see now I want to make my vertical edges this is the edge that is closest to me right here and it's going to be two units okay tall and then um, this edge here right there is also going to be two units tall because it's just one cube and then this final edge up here is going to be two units tall all right so things are starting to come together and now I'm going to connect these edges to get the very top edge that runs across all three cubes. All right, so that is part of my cube, and so that I can see this better, I'm gonna just kind of start erasing some lines here. All right, and of course I'll do more erasing as time goes along, and that's just my method of doing it. Some people can do it without drawing the extra lines, but I have to be able to see uh, how my parts come together. All right, so now I want to get the depth of my piece. So the depth of my piece, of course, is just one cube deep. All right, and this is the line that I just drew. Now I want to draw this back edge here. And then the top edge here. Okay, so now we see that part of the cube right here. All right, now notice on the inside, we're only going to go two cubes in or four units to make that turn. So one, two, three, four units. Okay, and this is again where I have to start erasing things so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so next we need the other side going up and that cube is also going to be two units by two units All right. and then that very bottom edge of that cube and I'm getting kind of curly on my paper here but the very bottom edge which will actually be below this green and the black cube that bottom edge right down there all right, and then my top edge, which goes across here. I'm going to move my ruler up and create that top edge. All right, now I can erase this because this is a 3D model, and we don't actually see that in real life. need to clean up my lines here a little bit. 
So now we see the bottom of that shape. This right here. But of course, remember, I added another cube onto it so it would uh, be able to stay within my constraints. So to put this cube on top right here, I really just kind of draw a whole other cube there. That's that um, back edge right there. Then the front edge okay, is going to be right here. Draw it up two cubes. And I'm going to place this line across the base of that cube so that I can see it. And I want good representation there as well. Then I'm going to draw it backwards two cubes to get uh, the width. And then the depth two, cu two, uh, two cubes, two units. And then that far right side edge. And I'm going to erase this line because it will not be seen in the actual part. So there's my isometric view of my brown piece right here with that cube on top. And again, so I can see things a little better, I'll do some shading. I'll pretend my light is up here. So all this will get uh, just sort of shaded in. Doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, mine is not. Just give it a little shading on the edges that the light does not reach. And that just helps you see the shape a lot better.